All right, so the house is going to be various types of browns. I'm going to go light brown on the walls, and I'm going to use a color called dull ivory for that. And remember to move relatively quickly, because if you stall too long in any one place, the markers bleed. And they'll bleed through and they'll bleed over in places where you don't want them. So just touch and go. Alright, on the fascia boards, and these are called fascia boards right here, which is just basically the front part of eaves, um, decorative types, things like that. Those are going to be a little bit darker, and that is going to include the window frames. Window frames are going to be slightly darker. I'm going to put a mysterious figure in the window last time and I'm just going to put I'm just going to highlight that window with a little yellow and I'm going to put a light in this window bay window down here as well. The curtains are also going to be kind of a middle brown. I don't want to leave those white.
All right, the rooftop is going to be a couple different shades of brown. I'm going to start off with the light one. It's more or less a middle, middle one if I can find it. This is it. Now, there's a slight, there's a, the moon, full moon casts a pretty bright shadow, therefore there might be some shadows on the rooftop itself. These down here are going to be a little bit darker.
house is looking pretty good at this point. You can always go back in with your uh, multi-liner and, and fix any lines that, that uh, may have gotten messed up by the colors. If they got diminished at all, you can always bring them back out. You can add values, whatever you need to do. Now, I'm going to try to do a simulated red brick on the chimneys, and I'm going to start with a gray. I have a light neutral gray. It's called an N1, and that's going to be my undercoat. So I'm going to just make this gray. And then right over the top, I'm going to place Burnt Sienna. Burnt Sienna is a pretty popular brown. You'll find in most marker sets. Um, but this, the, the Burnt Sienna has just kind of a reddish tint to it. And so when you do this brown over a gray, it, it makes a nice brick color. And you can even warm that up a little bit if you choose with a little light brown. Okay. All right, so the house for the most part is substantially done. Um, probably going to go a little bit darker down in here because there's, there's a lot of shadows down there. This is a light walnut. All right, I'm going to do it on time. Okay, so once we get the house the way we want it, we can move on to the sky. Now, originally I said we would ink around that sky, and I'm not going to do that. In fact, I'm just going to erase it a little bit. Still enough to see it. 
but I'm going to work right around it. Okay, so I'm just lightening that up a little bit, and I'm going with the lightest gray that I have. And the lightest gray that I have is an N0, it's a neutral gray, okay, and it's the lightest on the value scale, and I'm just going to go right around the moon. And just keep working my way around. And then I'm going to expand outwards. And if it's a little cloudy and spotty, that's actually perfect. Move out as long as far as I can. Just continue that circular motion like a halo around the moon. And then once you get closer to the, say, the tree and the house, then you're going to start to cut in a little bit. Don't want to just continue to go right over the house because that gray is going to mix into those browns and start to mess things up a little bit. So I'm going to try to cut in where I can. And come all the way down here so down here is going to be a little bit grayer and I can move to a slightly darker gray like an N1 and blend right over the top and even move to N2 and obviously this works only if you have multiple grays in your set then move back to the N0. If you only have the one gray, or maybe your gray is a little bit too dark, you could possibly try to mix it with a light blue. Um, anything dark, like a navy blue, obviously wouldn't work. You're just going to have a very, very, very dark sky. But a light blue might work. I would, pr I would recommend color swatching first, mixing it on a separate sheet of paper so that you know what you're working with. Move to an N1. My N0 is just getting a little bit weak. And you just kind of keep moving it out. Yeah, try the light blue if you if you don't have a light gray and see how that works. Again, cut in these little areas here. Sometimes use a circular motion to kind of get the puffy, puffiness resembling possible clouds.
these thin thin branches of the trees obviously you can go over in gray but again I would avoid going over the brown branches anything that has a color on it because it, it, it could possibly mix together and that would be not a good thing at this point Still trying to kind of keep that circular pattern around the moon. Kind of working slowly away. And then move to something slightly darker. Again, circular motion works pretty well, depending on how the alcohol dries, could give you that cloudy effect. Moving pretty quickly, letting the marker do its work. Thank you. 